Duffel cord, a very common thing comes up in normal pediatric practice. Out of nowhere, the doctor hears a murmur. It seems a little vibratory, and he tells the parents, it probably isn't something serious, and he was using the term innocent, but to be sure, he refers it to you. Uh, what is an innocent murmur? People tend to hear the word murmur, they get nervous. 99% of murmurs in children are normal. So another name for an innocent murmur or a functional murmur is a normal murmur. In normal children, and even in infants, because they are thin-chested, and if they're cooperative, you can actually hear the blood moving normally through the chambers of the heart. And that's what an innocent or normal murmur is. It's just a noise that you can hear of the blood moving through the heart in a completely normal way. It's usually present in childhood. It can come and go. If your child has a fever and your doctor listens, he may hear it. Sometimes he may not hear it. Generally, by adult life, it's no longer audible. doesn't mean the blood's not moving, but you don't hear it anymore. Um, will there be any test the doctor could do to assure the parents that the kid doesn't have something that's more serious? I, I think a lot of this depends upon the comfort of the pediatrician. Pediatricians learn to discern the difference between an innocent or normal murmur and something that is not. And often all a pediatrician needs to do based on the quality of the sound, for example the word vibratory or musical, can just assure the parents. If the parents are concerned, what we do as pediatric cardiologists, by and large, is just a simple electrocardiogram. At times, if we are concerned or we're unsure, we'll do something called an echocardiogram, which gives us more specific information. But if we saw every child that had an innocent murmur, I mean, we would have children wrapped around our office around the block. Pediatricians often will assure the family, just record it, 